Welcome back guys, I hope that you have installed the buffer plugin and if you did you have this nice icon as I said in the previous lecture and I've opened five different tabs here because this is what I'm going to use to show you the powerful tool that is inside our plugin. I can guarantee you that you'll be 10 times faster if you use the plugin and you won't really need to go into the buffer account that much because 99% of the things you'll have to do can be done through the plugin and also it will be much much quicker. In this lecture we'll try to use the plugin to do a few different things. So we'll try to share a web page which is this article about the Web Summit here in Dublin. We'll then switch to the Google search result for productivity images and we want to pick one of these images and share it through the Bluffer plugin. Then we'll go into a Facebook account, specifically I've opened my Web Your Mind page and here I want to select one of these articles and add it to my Buffer. And as you can see, after installing the plugin, you'll have this new option close to your share buttons in each one of the articles actually. And the same thing will happen on Twitter where you have the buffer icon here close to tweets. So if you want to retweet by using buffer, you need to click on this icon. And I can show you also Reddit. On Reddit, for example, you'll have the buffer option close to the submission from whoever you're looking at. So if you can see here, we have all the regular options as well as the buffer one. Let's start with the article I mentioned before. So let's move to the article page and let's click on the plugin icon here. As soon as I do that, I have on top right corner the option to click on go to buffer and that will open the traditional dashboard. But I have also this pop up here where I can schedule the post. It will be automatically populated with the title of the page and with the information the buffer receives from the page we're looking at. All of my social media accounts will be automatically selected. And as you can see on the bottom area, I can define a specific message for Facebook only. And I can already tell you that this will go inside Google Plus as well. We can do that also from the dashboard and I'll show you how this works. So I want to copy this text inside my Facebook area, but inside the tweet area, I want to add some hashtags like Web Summit. While in Facebook I may want to do something different. Maybe I want different hashtags or I want a message that is wider than 140 characters and I want also maybe to customize the image in Twitter and inside Facebook. I can keep the image suggested by Buffer or I can upload a new one like I showed you previously. I can then click on Add to Queue and as soon as I've done that my post will be already in Buffer. We can check that by going back to Buffer, I'm in the dashboard now, click on Twitter, on content, and I see that my post has been scheduled. I click on Facebook and my post has been scheduled with the image. I click on Google Plus and I have the same post. Say that after scheduling I want to modify the text. I can simply click on my post and change the text around. So from that's a wrap from Dublin, and maybe afterwards I want to say check it out, just that, and save it. So my post has been scheduled according to what I defined inside my schedule options. Another thing we want to notice, if I click on this again, again on the icon, is that I have another tab, which is the power scheduler, and I can decide a specific schedule for this post. So I can say that on Twitter I want that to be scheduled now, or I want that not to be scheduled now, and I can define for each one of the time frames when I want to share the specific post. This is valid for everything we share through the plugin. I can close it. And now we'll move into Google Images. Inside Google Images, if I open any of these images you're seeing, and this is valid for any image on the web. Let's open the second one, for example. If I hover on the image with my mouse, there's the share image button on the bottom right corner of the image. If I click that, as you can see, my composer will be opened again. I can share the image and I can again define how it should look like based on the social media where I want to post. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to share this productivity image with my followers. But just keep in mind that if you need a specific image and you want to share it quickly, you can use that option. 
Moving now to Facebook, let's say that I find a nice uh, post from someone on Facebook, like this one that I, I have posted, so, well, I think I like it. I click on buffer on the bottom right corner, and again, I have my composer open for me, he will copy the tags, he will copy everything I'm trying to share, and I can schedule it. I don't want that to be scheduled for Facebook, it's already on Facebook, but my add to queue button is disabled, and that's because the message for Twitter is too long, it's not 140 characters. So maybe let's just remove uh, one of the hashtags. And now I can click on add to queue, and it will be automatically added. I can send the update, looks like you're posting an update to Facebook without any text. That's because Facebook is still selected, so let's cancel. Let's remove Facebook and Google+, and let's just add to the tweet. So click on Add to Queue, and we'll schedule another thing. In our settings, it's automatically updated, and it will be posted at quarter past 3 p.m. today. That's very easy, as you can see. We can now move to the Twitter account, and let's say that I want to retweet this specific message from Slack. This is about an update on the remind command that now offers more functionalities. What I'm going to do is simply click on the buffer button once again. I have this new window opening with a simple composer that you are already familiar with. But the difference is that I'm retweeting something, so for the Twitter area, this will look like a retweet and I can add a comment this time. I can't change the text of the tweet because it's from someone else. While for Facebook, I can define whatever I want. So I'll click again on Add to Queue, but I remove Facebook and Google+. I want to keep it like that. I don't want to add any additional information. And I click on Add to Queue again. And in my buffer, Slack will be the third item to be published. You know, on Facebook, I don't have anything related to Slack. On Google+, I don't have anything related to Slack. Well, you can easily imagine that if I go to Reddit and I click on Buffer on one of the Reddits, for example, on this specific post, I can click on Buffer. Again, I have my simple composer and the power scheduler if I want to modify something. And I can define whatever I want. So I'm not going to do that for Reddit. I'll just close it. But trust me, it will work the same way. Before we close this lecture, let's go back to the Buffer dashboard and let's open the Analytics tab. Inside the Analytics tab, so you can see the list of your posts by date, and you can also check how efficient was the post you made, how many clicks did you receive, how many reshares, how many plus ones in case of Google+. And the same is valid for each one of your accounts. So we can see Analytics for under Twitter, under Web Your Mind, the Facebook page, and under any account that you have configured. You can filter by most popular, least popular, assuming you have an awesome plan. If we click on the sub tab analysis, you will notice that you need a buffer for business that will allow you to access this nice chart that might be useful in case you have bigger plans for your social media presence. The same thing is valid for the insights tab. As I have already mentioned a few lectures ago, Feel free to investigate the limits of the free plan of Buffer and eventually move to an awesome plan if you need something more. I hope that you enjoyed the tool and you'll start using that, so it's time to move into some practice activities.